Guys, welcome back to another Noble Trick Live stream. Um, I've just received the MSI GT73 VR, four kilos of massive gaming rig, VR capable and really uh, quite a monster. Entry level at 3,000 euros, going up to about four grand. Quad core laptop processors inside. I've got a 200 watt, 200 watt uh, um, power adapter for this. So that gives you an idea of the sort of uh, stuff that's going on inside. Um, I'm not gonna go over all the information. All the information is available on our full review and really this video is just to let you know the full review is complete. Now we've got full gaming tests, screen tests, memory tests, um, of course the PC mark test, battery tests, heat tests. What else have we got on our full overview score as well, which I'm gonna give you uh, right now. 88% um, was the score result for the MSI. Uh, GT73, that's an excellent score. It's really up there. It's one of the best ones we've tested recently. Um, so if you're interested in a, well, this is really a desktop replacement. In fact, in some cases, this is going to be better than most desktops because it will go up to a, a dual SLI uh, NVIDIA uh, GPU setup, 64 gigs of RAM. There's a RAID 0 uh, dual SSD inside and another slot for a, a drive. Uh, spinning hard drive, so lots of flexibility. Um, let's just go to the ports though first, and I'll zoom in uh, for you here so we can just take a, a look around the ports. Now, uh, on this side, two USB 3.1 uh, Rev 1s, so that's not with the uh, Lightning port. Uh, full, very fast SD card reader there, that is up to 150 megabytes a second in our test, which is really quite fast. If you're transferring 4K videos into this for Editing, obviously very important to have a high-speed SD card there. Let me just spin that around to the, the back there and you'll see uh, we've got a display port. We've got a USB-C, that's a USB 3.1 Rev 2, so including lightning port output, uh, power, and the high-speed uh, gigabit to LAN port there. Fan outputs, details on noise in the full review. On this side, we've got three more USB 3.1s, Rev 1s, so not uh, with lightning port or anything uh, else on there, and your four audio input outputs, including uh, SP, diff, separate mic, and uh, line inputs, and headphone as well. There's a front. Let me just take you into the uh, inside of the device. Now, this is the full HD screen version, matte screen, IPS, excellent. Uh, let's give you some details on the actual uh, screen um, there. Uh, you'll look closely at that and you'll see just over 300 nits on the brightness, which isn't uh, fantastic, but this isn't the device you're gonna be using outside. You won't be taking this to the park and using it for gaming there. It's only got about an hour's worth of battery life under gaming in those situations. Anyway, so uh, the 300 nits is absolutely perfect for uh, in-office use. And uh, to be honest, it's more about the color accuracy here. Now, when we got it out of the box, color registration, color accuracy wasn't very good. It wasn't, wasn't calibrated very well. Uh, deltas of nine on the colors, deltas of nine on the uh, grayscales as well. But we calibrated this down to under one deltas, which is excellent. Anything under three is difficult to determine, to determine with the naked eye. Uh, so you can uh, calibrate this down, and we've left the ICM file in the full review for you, so you can in, uh, upload and import that into Windows so you can get this screen nicely calibrated. So if you're working with photo, if you're working with uh, 4K video, full HD video, and you want an accurate screen, this is a nice screen uh, to use. Now the keyboard is uh, chiclet. There's a bit of a strange layout. For example, there's the Windows key, which is here, but in general, uh, pretty good. There's more details from our reviewer in the full review. So I do encourage you to check out the full review there. We've also got that multicolored backlight. We've got um, MSI's uh, audio enhancement features, and there's some quick access uh, to those on the side here. Um, let's talk quickly about that disc. I'll bring up the uh, disc speeds there for you. Um, dual SSD, 512 gigabytes, so half a terabyte in RAID 0, so fast and reliable. And that's so if you're working with video content for customers, you'll be able to use that SSD to do storage in RAID 0 mode, so you'll get uh, uh, a little bit more reliability on the SSD as well. There's also a two and a half inch slot for a spinning hard drive as well. 
Uh, there's a terabyte hard drive in here already, so there's one and a half terabytes of storage. That SSD is super fast. Look at that, 3.2 gigabytes a second maximum transfer speed. These are NVMe connected SSDs in here. Uh, and that 4K write speed, 52, 153, really good. Nothing to complain about about the SSDs here. You can, I believe, choose to switch it into a dual SSD device, so you could put two one terabyte SSDs in there if you wanted and switch it off the RAID. Have a look at the review, I think, if I remember rightly, there's some details on actually how you do that. There's definitely some pictures of the internals in here, uh, and I'll do a little bit of a close-up video for YouTube on the internals as well. Maybe pull out uh, the SSDs and show you a bit around the device. Uh, plenty of internal pictures on the full review though, so you'll be able to see the heat sinks and stuff like that. Um, obviously performance is pretty damn good. PC Mark scores uh, there. It's not the best of the bunch we've tested so far, but really uh, quite good scores. All the details on PC Mark testing, on um, uh, GPU Mark testing, GPU Mark testing. Uh, I've even forgot the name of the GPU testing that we're doing. What is the name of the GPU testing that we're doing, guys? Okay. There's some of the uh, gaming tests we've done. You'll see up to 4K there, 10, uh, 1080p, no problem, but 4K in some cases, uh, no problem at all. We have one case of 40 frames a second. Um, check out uh, lots more details, lots more test results on performance uh, on the full review. Really, really detailed stuff. We put a lot of effort into this review, and our reviewer is really come out with some details for you that are really worth uh, taking a look at. Let's have a look at one thing that's not too good on this battery life. This thing can take up to 200 watts at the wall um, if you're pushing this really hard. If you've got the dual SLI uh, GPU version as well, it's going to be even less performance on the battery life under load. But what's, what's quite disappointing about this is if you've got a 75 watt hour battery in this, which isn't actually massive for a device of four kilograms, you're only getting three and a half hours of Wi-Fi surfing at it, which isn't very good at all. So you are kind of question why you got the battery in there anyway. Well, the battery's probably there for your mains breakdown during your 24 hour gaming session to back you up uh, but uh, of course you can take it around uh, to different rooms while you're while you're gaming a uh, battery will back you up there but it's not a device you want to be using underway it's four hours of battery uh, four kilos nine pounds of weight really doesn't lend itself to mobility there's one thing else i wanted to give you that's the overall uh, scores the overall scores are here You'll see we marked it down for the keyboard slightly. We marked it down for the uh, weight. Uh, it's a little bit plasticky on the uh, uh, casing side of things, but there's a lovely metallic aluminium uh, surround to the, the keyboard, which really brings up the quality uh, nicely. There was one more thing. I'm just trying to remember one more thing we marked it down on on that. Can I quickly see it? The noise is fairly acceptable. It was the keyboard to connect to the battery. Nice games. I can't see it here. The weight may be four kilos. So check out the full uh, review though for all those informations. Uh, there was one other thing I wanted to tell you about and that is that, yes, I will we'll, we'll do a, a, a review, no, a quick video taking the back of this off. Um, but all I wanted to do here was really highlight that the full review is available in German, in English, on notebookcheck.com for the version, uh, German version, notebookcheck.com.net, uh, sorry, for the English version, plenty of details, 88% on this, VR ready, 3,000 euro, 4 kilo gaming, video, video editing, video streaming, laptop, pretty impressive, I really wouldn't mind keeping it to, to drive some of these uh, videos that we're doing here. Uh, and also to enhance my, oh yeah, I did do a video rendering test. It was about three times faster than my Surface Pro, Pro 3 on rendering out at full HD, 50 frames a second, uh, using Intel QuickSync, which is hugely fast. It's about 20%, 25% faster than the last MSI gaming laptop I, I used. So that's uh, probably a function of the fact that this is Skylake and not uh, Broadcom, which was the last one I tested. Anyway, guys. Thank you for watching. This video will be up on YouTube as a uh, full-length video. Only 720p on this one, unfortunately, but uh, I'll get some full HD videos done of the internals and maybe a little view of the outside. But full review, go and check it out. If you're thinking of gaming, VR, video editing, video streaming, video live production, this is one really worth looking at. Thanks for watching. I'm going to see you on the next Notebook Check live review, which will be of this 
Dell 2-in-1 Inspiron convertible. So that'll be up on the next uh, live view. And um, we hope to see you on that. Take care. We'll see you soon.